Okay, so kind of felt inspired. We'll see uh, where the muse takes us, and yeah, I don't know. We'll just see what comes to be here. Uh, there's a lot of things said that. I've only watched a, a couple minutes of this, really, but, uh... I guess more than anything, uh, this is just a reminder that we are not going to be given anything. We are not going to be, um, allowed anything. Uh, it has to be felt and you have to put in the work in order to do that you you don't just get shit <laughs> and I mean I know you people out there who get caught up in shit I know deep down like you realize this but If you if you did much research or really got into the whole uh, 2012 thing, uh, if you were sucked up into that at all, if you uh, studied your ass off at all, if you uh, came to the realization before it even happened that, because what I was telling people before 2012 is, it, it's just gonna be another fucking day. Like it's not anything. But what what matters is the shit that you do inside and then collectively, eventually, that will reach a snowball effect. And you can't put a date on that. That's that's not how it works. So the twenty twenty thing is twenty twelve revamped. It's not the 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 only the only way you're gonna see any kind of a crazy manifestation in twenty twenty is because of the collective uh, shifting that is happening. It, it really has nothing to do with shit going on outside. It, it, that That is the fucking trap here, people. This is the whole trap with the ideology and the Scientology of convincing you where you live, convincing you what you are, that you only have a certain amount of time to live, that this means this within your body, and if you have a disease, then you have to seek a certain treatment, and the indoctrination is, is very deep, so whenever you've done a certain level of cleansing, Realize there's still more clarity that has to be gleaned, and you have to have these insights from your own direct experience and gnosis. You can have uh, experiences with the dream time and the astrals, but that doesn't necessarily mean jack shit, because it, within those spaces, you can literally do whatever the fuck you want. There's no limitations. And you can convince yourself of anything you want. Your indoctrinations and your... Uh, the mentality that you have been taught to believe, even if you've come out of it uh, somewhat, there's still some tendrils and tentacles still attached to you. I liken them to uh, glittering side effects that are constantly thrown at us, that make us think that things are even more... I don't know how to use the word, but uh... Basically, it's the side effects that distracts us from the root causality of what is creating 
reality and it's each and every one of us this this is not we are not approaching something that we're going to be gifted with anything it, it's it's very much the opposite of that it's very much the collective enough people have done the shit that they need to do inside and i say shit they they've felt deeply enough and they've connected with the truth enough that we it reaches a point where that uh ripple it just ripples and ripples and then it becomes waves and then it becomes kind of like a sonic boom and it, it just spreads so whenever that happens that is what is occurring it's within people it's it, it's great to uh get new ideas new concepts to contemplate not to attach beliefs to not to attach oh well obviously we're being lied to by and, and we are by the powers that be or whatever the fuck the, the propaganda system nasa nazi nasa so you can't just jump and, and that's the whole flat earth thing is for people to real they start to slowly recognize that they're being lied to and that things aren't what it seems to be and then oh hey someone for this something else and oh it must be this obviously because we've been it kind of makes sense so it's just for being lied to then then it has to be this it, it's that mindset and mentality that has encapsulated us. The this or that. That separation. It's, it's really likened to a laziness of uh, thought. We, we have become uh, indoctrinated into lazy thought. And we attach a certain mentality to an ideology because the opposite of that we find out was a lie and we've been fed that lie for a long time but the new thing that we are you know led into is also a half truth so use these things as stepping stones and continue forth don't get trapped and looped around in the eddy release that flow and continue forth continue swimming But the more you do it, the more you become akin to the being in that brainwave. And a lot of people think it's being out of breath, but it's actually in the same way that Wim Hof teaches people how to over-oxygenate their body. You're over, you're not over-oxygenating, you're actually getting it up to the proper levels of how much oxygen you should have, if that's what you want to call it, or ether, or energy. And probably, I'm assuming, without making a complete ass of myself and, and anyone else that he means you are eventually coming to the levels of normality and homeostasis but first it is like into over oxygenating as in over uh i, I don't know what the, that word would be <laughs> i was trying to think of prana and yeah but over energizing it's just energy on prana you're uh you're taking in so much uh your body is used to being at a level of uh you're, that you're lacking um e even enough so whenever you're taking in that much you are going uh to one side of the scale uh 
and your body eventually finds that homeostasis point. And it's kind of like you're lifting your ground up each time that you engage the roof and lift the roof up. The ground comes up a little bit too. So you are able to start from that place. Tiptoe higher. Into your body. So you go through that and that gets you into gamma waves, gamma rays. And that will help uh, the beginning part. That's the connection to your body. And I'm going to do a nine. I think, I think because it seems to be that the 21st of this year, 21st, the 24th, and the 26th of December are pretty interesting dates for a lot of reasons. Everybody's got all their end times, apocalypse, and blah, blah, blah. But this has nothing to do with, it's not good, bad, and different. This is just how energies function. Um, so I'm not going to go on into like, oh, it's the end of the world. It's nothing like that. Um, it's exactly that, actually, because it's the end of the world as it used to be. It's the beginning of the world as it was meant to be. And it's going to take, it's going to take uh, a fair bit of time. For, for people to come out of their indoctrinations and their attachments to the systems that have been set up for them. And yes, there are going to be calamities and a whole bunch of just ridiculousness. And we've already reached the point now that uh, the things that they used to use to, to cull energies and control people um, are being seen by more and more people that, that of just how fake and ridiculous it is. So, uh, as, as this crazy fucking shit is going to just keep escalating, um, the people of the earth, as in the people that um, are, are remembering how to ground with the earth and feel her again, and feel who they fucking are again, feel their creator, and it's not, it's not a god mentality or anything, it's just an isness mentality, it's not an ideology thing, it's just a feeling fucking thing. So... The more this this crazy bullshit continues with the media and, and, the, and the stupid shit, because we're about to see next level stupid shit, but that's because it's all coming to a head, like I've said. Uh, the the sickness is being drawn from the collective body, and it, it's going to be put on display for people to see. I mean, it already is little by little, and then you're able to see... Uh, how people react to it. If they're attached to their belief structures and their BS, or if they're like, wait, wait, what the fuck? How ridiculous is this? And they start to slowly get it. And also, shout out to Activation Codes. Check out that channel. That guy uh, is a lot like me. Uh, speaks a lot like I do. Uh, has the same cadence. Uh, has the same heart. And... One of the things that he said uh, in, in one of uh, his more recent videos was that he feels that uh, the more disconnected uh, people get and the more they realize this they're going to really like seek that connection back to what is real back to the earth and so people that have channels that um, talk about connecting with nature and connecting with the true beingness inside engaging gnosis those are the uh, like the shining lights like they're the way showers they're the guideposts. I absolutely agree with this.
and, and um, right until uh, the very last uh, person that finally switches and comes back to the, the, the reality of the nature, the nature of reality, the reality of, of nature, and the felt experience of this. Right up until that moment, people are going to be trying to convince other people that they have the answer, that the technocratic world, that the scientism is the path. But uh, not just are those people going to die off, but they're going to degrade. They are very, I mean, they do, anyways, uh, very much more quickly than people who are connected with the earth. They cleanse themselves with the direct experience. And uh, this this is why this cycle is the final one. <sighs> On the short term, in that, uh, and this is getting uh, a little bit too too much to be able to put into words, but we've been on this fucking bullshit cycle where we keep uh, coming up into a point and then uh, the degradation and corruption takes over. Uh, because... We forgot one key thing, and this time, we recognize that key thing, and we make sure that doesn't fucking happen, but then that enters us into another cycle, and so, I mean, then we kind of begin again. It's kind of like the Ouroboros, uh, intertangle, intermingles with itself. And uh, we create a larger Ouroboros, so we're able to see where we go again with that. But I also have the inclinations that we've done that before as well. So we'll see where we go with it. Because as we truly, you know, go out into quote unquote space. Because we, we haven't we haven't done that shit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I mean, some of us have for sure. <laughs> but as more of us do, we're going to start finding uh, traces of uh, where we've already been, and we're going to we're going to keep. Continuing the learning process of why certain things have been barricaded and blocked off so that we are able to finally get the fucking point to see the error that we that we made in the past. And so I, I'm coming from a place here of uh, we are all one, like, and there's no... All time is now, so... All past and future essences are are us right now in this moment. It's not dead. It's not when they come to be. It's all right here, right now, and you can feel it. And this is what I recommend people to engage whenever they start to get into the astrals. Feel the difference between lucid dreaming, between astral projection, between even astral projection into a, a type of a lucid dream where you're also creating more than you're witnessing. There's a certain distinct feeling, and, and I liken it to a taste. Where 
of, wh of when how, when you're engaging with certain things so that you can know for yourself if you're creating something or if you're seeing something for either how it was or how it's going to be and yes you can project yourself in the future yes the future is always in flux so that that specific future that you see doesn't necessarily mean that's going to come to pass but it can if you know how to align yourself with certain energies but then you know comes the point of why <laughs> why even do that whenever you can just be in the moment and create your own eternal gardens Okay, so I I blabbered on enough there, and, and I'm glad this didn't turn in turn out to be what I was feeling. Yeah, maybe if we're gonna go there. Maybe that was a <sighs> premonition. We'll see. But I, I do think that people will be able to access different levels of their their innate power they already have, which are. See the, the things. The things that I'm going to do. I think 90 days out, I will start to do a maybe like a a weekly or even more than weekly uh, lesson for you guys on on some practices and some things. Uh, and eating, fasting, breathing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that way you can get to the dream world because the dream world is basically just a it's another training ground for what goes on here. Yeah, and that's and that's beautiful. Like you can definitely utilize that as a training ground to help you, quote unquote, level up for whenever you come back uh, to this place. Where, and I've had many, uh, many of us have had many occurrences where we do just all kinds of crazy, awesome shit in the dream world, and it feels just as real. And then we come back to waking life and it's it's very much likened to like you put on a dense suit like, all of a sudden the the density like uh stops you from from the, that kind of flow that you had so the fluidity in, in the ethers and astrals wherever you're you're more just accessing the state of mind and not attaching your body to that but the point of all this shit is building that bridge and uh, some of us um, c can do um, a lot of this stuff already but th that shouldn't be like the main thing uh, for me I've always been the type of person that especially like being uh, brought up um, having gone through this shit to where I've, I was very suppressed, started to gain a little bit more insight, a little bit more freedom. I started to listen to the things inside of me that uh, were speaking and what they were trying to tell me, the uh, the little helpers, the, the plant spirit medicines, the, all the spirits, all the essences, all the souls, all the ancestors that are always talking to us. Can you listen? Can you hear them? Can you attune yourself? Can you feel? It is a process, and everyone is going to have their own pathways to a certain place so that more of us can get at this certain place and start to build a foundation there start to realize the real what's really been going on start to understand our true origins start to learn how to discern and decipher everything all of reality you have to take it upon yourself to decipher it
yearn to discern for yourself. Imagine right now if you could levitate. When you came in the dream world, so why wouldn't you be able to hear if you knew what you were doing? You can fly in the dream world. You can do all sorts of things in the dream world you don't seem to be able to do here now. All sorts of things. Um, anything and everything. Literally, your imagination is, is your limit whenever you are in the dream world. And like I said, when you come back and you can't seem to be able to do them here, that's because you're working in another matrix, so to speak, another level and layer of reality. That you have to attune with and feel into. Whenever you feel all the little aspects and pieces, all the little cells, You reclaim your spirit in all the little aspects of your physical body. And then you can meld your dream self and your physical self. But I don't recommend necessarily seeking that path. Um, unless you're also doing intensive ground grounding, intensive uh, training, as in re-educating yourself about the nature of, of reality. Because if you do happen to pop out and, and have a glimpse of what's really going on, uh, if you're not ready for that, then it's, it's either going to be uh, too unbelievable, or it's going to, you're going to feel it, and then if you do feel it, then uh, you have to be ready to handle that kind of gauge of emotion and feeling, because a whole lot of shit is going to come flooding back into you, a whole lot of memory. And you gotta you gotta realize how to flow with it. You can't hold on to any of it. You gotta allow it to just flow through you. And then within the process you will realize that in the acceptance and allowance that is the same thing as realizing that you have it all. You don't need to hold on to anything because you are it all. You have it all. So all that you ever need to do is project your awareness, project where you want your focal point to be, and there it is. You have it. That's, that's how this shit works. So we're probably just going to skip around here and get a couple of things focal points to leapfrog from. But it is my contention that if you uh, if you can dream it, you can become it. Absolutely. You know, that, that kind of idea. And there will be certain organic things that will happen in this in this realm um, and other realms that will be flooding energy into this realm will give you those types of superpowers. And I wouldn't call them superpowers. I think they're just um, people say you have DNA that is some, some will call it junk DNA, some will say it's unused, some will say it's dormant. I'd say it's dormant DNA. Because you know there's some people that are very, they're very clairvoyant, they're very... I mean, I'm pretty sure Zen's even said this before, it's like, you know, have you ever experienced or seen or went within so deeply that you have experienced this thing called DNA? And we're told, and I mean, the the scientism shit is so crazy, uh, just with, with the idiocy that they they will try to convince people that they even have organs that don't have a purpose, 
uh, your body is a perfected thing. The imperfection comes with the mentalities, and, and especially even the mentalities of the, the act of creation. So whenever people are created in a form of um, loose thought and just pure lust, your body is going to reflect that. And so if you want to awaken whenever you're born within that body, and a shit ton of us are born in that fucking kind of body, and then and then we start to feel deeper, and we wish to awaken, we have a lot of fucking work to do to heal the, you could say, sins of the fathers. But it's not just the fathers. It's the parents. And not only does that original sin last within the body and is felt, they continue forth with their bullshit because of their indoctrination system, because of how they have been treated. They, they project that and pass that on to the next generation and so on and so on. Have any of you ever had kids, um, or have had, or, or have take, taken note of, um, whenever you had, um, that interaction, and, in that time, you knew that at that time, a child was coming through, or an essence, an energy, like, did, did you notice the difference there whenever a spirit is coming in and coming through? That feeling, you can just utilize that feeling of co-creation as in the two people, the mother and the father, they utilize their image and their emotion And, and that kind of um, interaction, um, not only does it leave sex in the dust, not only does it leave uh, tantric um, practices in the dust, it um, it's very much likened to you. How it how it is felt for the human form is, you feel like you've just completed. Um, your your purpose in life. You just feel like you you did what it, what you came here to do, and a lot of people will also feel this whenever they see their newborn child and whatnot. They will have these similar feelings, but this feeling happens uh, with, with two parents that have harmonized their energies and they realize the truth within and without, and they don't need to uh, engage in sexual acts like we have been taught happens. We have been taught that we have to have sex in a certain way for babies to be made. We are taught that the animal kingdom uh, does this too, so, you know, oh, we're just animals, right? So obviously it's all the same. No. If you do, if you dig deep enough, you will find people that have had children to where they don't even remember or recognize that they had that kind of intercourse. This is such a powerful experience whenever you bring as much of an essence of a spirit as you can with, with as much focus and you attach uh, the image and it, it, you release into it but it, it's all about the intention it always comes back to the intentions Whenever the intentions are there, the 
the spirit comes in and that kind of person being born in that way is going to have like a 100,000 times head start compared to a person that is just formed out of lust. And I'm just talking about the body on one aspect. I'm just talking about the body. That body is going to be a little diseased. And they're going to have work to do, especially if they're brought up and they're constantly being given bullshit that they don't fucking need and fed shit that they don't fucking need. So their body is already uh, not what it should be and then it's constantly being poisoned. So to wake up from that, um, I just want to say like, Y'all are fucking ama- you, you you don't know how fucking powerful you are to to even awaken from something like that. Just that you've done that. Maybe this can be a reminder to you of just how degraded of a vessel that you came into, and still you sought truth. Through the bullshit, through the indoctrination, through the pain, through the trauma. That is crazy powerful. But then also, uh, the spirit um, does not collect enough, as much of its uh, totality of its uh, beingness. So only bits and pieces... Like you, we're only, who words, you're only you're, it's only uh, pulling upon certain points of awareness. Certain, I'm not gonna use the word stars, but certain points of beingness. You're you're working with a limited. Uh, you could say software. And then you you come into a limited hardware, but whenever you're created with co-creation with the intent of bringing in a being, just that in and of itself, you're upgrading your software immensely. And then how they upgrade the hardware is you have to realize the integration with the earth. You have to do the... things necessary and that line up with the cycles of the earth here and now that will bring about a a more holistic and more completed uh, hardware so how I would what I would recommend is The mother to be pregnant whenever she's in the seasons to where she can smell the ethers and the flowers. And that will go into the, the new vessel that is being created and they will get that information and that will create the most optimum hardware for the software and when I, when I say that I mean spirit to come in it's the very that they have you know with, on the center pole and when you flew the chimney it opens up the chimney to let things out to let all the garbage out so if you if you're burning wood, you're letting all the all the toxic residue and shit out. Ah. Except that that's not toxic. It is uh it is just a byproduct. Have you ever heard of people utilizing what are they called? Basically, like a form of sauna, but use it with smoke, like a, a sweat, a smoke lodge. 
you have the teepee and you just you have a certain type of smoke and you just sweat it out in, inside of there and then also what's inside of the smoke goes into the pores and, and cleanses on, on another level But I get what he was saying. So you just get the heat, of the heat of the flare, right? So if your body, so when you get the flu, you're literally pushing things out of your body. It doesn't feel good. Your body gets hot. You get very warm. And it can will, feel it good. As a sickness. It will look like a sickness. Some people. Won't. If you realize what's happening, it feels very fucking good. It can actually become addictive whenever you get uh, really into the detox process. It can become uh, a sensation of expelling things. It can become very addictive. But then you can also reach a point where that's obviously anything of benefit is no longer going to be beneficial if you do it too many times. You'll be able to handle it. Other people won't get sick at all. So if you do do the proper things to cleanse now and take take your little, you know, dead, you know. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is uh, if you're. If you're uh, on the fence with uh, the upping of the frequencies, if you're if you're not really able to feel it, and you're more kind of trapped in the mind, to where you're you're like, oh well, five G, four G, you know, we've always had it. The frequency has always been there. If you aren't able to feel the difference, and how you do this is you go out in nature and you get away from it as much as you possibly can. And then as you come back into a town, uh, you will hit this wall. Your body will, will fucking feel it. And so that, that frequency is being upped and upped. It's very much like um, people are being microwaved. Micromanaged. They're micromanaging the waves. But also... Uh, I mean, there, there, there is um, that to a point, which w with the uh, metals and, and the clearing out, and oh, obviously, like okay, like, this is on, on such a fucking level that, like, that's going to be the case uh, before you even go into the fucking sun. If you still have levels uh, of metals and toxification in you, you can't even fucking get it in, into the sun. That shit's going to burn you. It's going to burn that shit inside of your skin. And that's what's going to harm you. So, uh, I mean, what do you think is going to happen regardless of if you have metals in you or not and you grab onto, like, a fucking telephone wire or something like having that kind of voltage and energy running through you it doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter if you're clean and clear or not you're still having that kind of energy put onto you and that's obviously going to have a negative effect on the fucking physical form on the hardware So uh, I, I definitely encourage people to get out of the frequencies as much as they can. And whenever you come back, try to take note of the sensations and feelings you get. If anyone's ever seen the movie uh, Kingsman, the first one, whenever they uh, show that they are targeting people's uh, cell phones and then making them go just fucking bonkers... This is this is exactly what's fucking happening. But I mean, it's not just with the cell phones, but uh, that that is a point of amplitude for sure. Uh, 
which is why I don't, one of the many reasons of why I don't own a smartphone. But you can feel these frequencies amping up and the effects that it's having on people in cities. More and more people are getting on edge and just testy and triggery, myself included at times. Because I'm not, sometimes, because I'm a human, I'm not, you know, I, I fucking forget shit too sometimes. I, I don't do the groundwork that I need to do. I don't go out in nature as much as of what I absolutely need to do. And so I collect too much energy. And so that uh, gets things vibrating too much. And that uh, has to be released somehow. And unfortunately, sometimes it's, it's released in not healthy or beneficial ways. But most people are, are caught in, in the loops and the traps of releasing in non-beneficial ways. And so it's all just amping up right now. And so when I, when I say that both polarities are amping up, it, that's being forced to people are being forced to go within and recognize and heal and do the shit they need to do and feel or that shit's going to be brought to the surface uh, through other means like with this fucking vibration crazy bullshit It's, it's a multi-layered thing that's happening. It's a multi-layered assault. Uh, the assault on the mind has been happening through the indoctrination. The assault on the body has been happening over time through the foods, through the uh, subtle chemicals that they allow into the foods. And they, they uh, throw up these fancy terms like, oh, they're natural flavors. sweeteners and, and, and things of this nature that where they don't really have to tell you what exactly they're putting into it. And then of course, you know, the, the water, uh, the water system has just been completely fucked for a while. And uh, the indoctrination system has come has convinced, has effectively convinced a uh, majority of people, I would say, that uh, the poison is good, good for them. And yes, if you know what you're doing, poison can be good for you, but this level is, is, is a level where uh, the Nazis, you know, have had already tested it out uh, on a mass scale, uh, certain chemicals. So, then they were brought over here to the good old... Uh, land of the fucking enslaved and implemented their their ideologies over here their practices that they found that worked and this has been the case throughout uh, the occulted history of mankind where whenever one thing works on a massive scale they, they try to implement that they revamp it and make it look like it has a new skin a new face, a new uh, label, and then they implement on an, on an even larger scale. If you don't think that uh, 5G, <laughs> 5G, uh, these frequencies are being pumped into the airwaves if you're living in a city uh, through through all your electrical systems that you're using. That's, that vibration's always coming out um, no matter how much it's shielded or you're led to believe that it's completely shielded. It's not. And then we have the Wi-Fi. just layer upon layer of frequencies that are being uh, 
bounce off of your body and some somewhat you know project it into your bo body if you don't think that this is having an effect on you um, get a whole bunch of coils get a whole bunch of metal coils and uh, put something on top you know that'll be kind of comfortable and then put yourself right next to a uh, like an electrical uh, powerhouse place that, that's in your town like your 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 town's electrical like uh, shit put yourself right next to that and just sleep there and, and keep doing that and see what kind of effect that has on you oh wait oh wait people are already doing that with, with the box spring mattresses and the springs within their mattresses There's, there's such a thing as too much energy, and that's the thing that uh, is happening now. It's too much frequency that the majority of people are not being able to handle right now. And it's not necessarily... Yes, the toxins and the plastics and the metals do have an effect, but more than that, Is that people have lost their uh, roots and their foundations. And they don't know who they are anymore. So they're already in a place of caught in the rat race. They're already in a place of like they need to heal. But they're not. They don't realize it. And they're going to the wrong places for, it, for healing. They're going to the places that are just throwing pharmaceuticals at them. To numb them down. So, uh, if you're feeling, you know, uh, testy or, like, you need to get the fuck away from people, fucking do so. Uh, try to get out in nature. Try to get as far as away as you can um, from uh, the power grid and uh, those frequencies. And allow your mind to reattune with your body and to reattune with the body of nature with the body of the earth and feel that and it's, it's going to be the more you do that it's going to be a very different experience as you start to come back into the town or the city life You're gonna feel you're gonna pick up on something that's a little bit different. And eventually you're gonna re you're gonna recognize, you're gonna become aware that your mind starts going to certain places because of all this electronic frequency pollution. It's not just affecting the physical body, it is. It's uh, degrading the physical body and making it agitated to where people are just uh, blowing up on each other more and more. Less communication is happening. More triggery fucking bullshit is happening. And then people are getting used to, oh, that's that's how we communicate now. and That's how we engage. We just are always testy. But also, uh, these frequencies... Uh, just think about it, like the Wi-Fi, like, your body can pick up on everything. So, like, if your computer can pick up the Wi-Fi and you can have access to all this fucking information, you don't think that your body can pick up on it? Uh, just on some level? Really? You don't think that this all this Wi-Fi is going to have any kind of effect on your dream state? 
or even just on your day-to-day -day thoughts in the waking state, maybe where some, some, some of your thoughts may go, to things where you're like, well, why am I even engaging this right now? Things are amping up, things are uh, getting turned up on the frequency dial, and the number one thing that you can do for yourself and for your loved ones is get out in nature, reattune, ground down with nature. Go barefoot, go, go naked into nature, allow all the ethers, all, all of these essences to, to reach all of the cells of your body. Allow it to speak to you and learn how to listen. Then things will seem very different as you come back into the city life. More and more, we'll begin to not really make sense how we do things, how most people do things, the waste that happens, the consumerism, the consumption, the addictions that happen. Whenever you clear your mentality and clear your physical hardware, your physical vessel, do the fasting, do the cleansing work. Realize that you don't really need all that much. Your your the nature will, will provide for you just just by you going out into nature and bearing yourself to it. Be vulnerable there. It will provide. Your mind will will begin to attune with things that you just naturally need that your body needs. So yeah, I'll end it with that, uh, and I'll also end it with just what I said at the beginning, which is, you're not going to be given shit, you, we ha we've had to, and of course, you know, sometimes we are gifted with things and gifted with insights, but that, I'm going to say uh, that that is only a reflection of, of, the, of the stuff that you've done inside of, inside of you so whenever you perceive a quote unquote gift it's because that you you had it coming because you felt deeply enough to attract to you something that helps you understand and understand what's really going on here Remember how to swim, within and without, surf them waves, and always maintain a certain level of levity about it. Always be able to engage that childlike mind state to where you're experiencing each moment fresh and new and alive. Bring the life back to your life, dude. It's not that people are afraid to die because they're constantly dying. It's that people are afraid to actually live. So release the fear. Get back in touch with the real. And live. Peace.